Hey everyone, Delito here. Are you tired of society? Tired of corrupt, evil people ruining our country? <laughs> well, do I have the game for you? I put way too much time into this game, and the only way I can justify it is with the video, so here we are. I'm gonna be spoiling the hell out of this game, so this is your first and only warning. Persona 5 has you play as Ren Amamamiya. Am, am, Amamiya. Mamba Mia. AKA Joker. I'm the Joker, baby. AKA Wow. You're so reckless, you know that? He's just like me. A regular high schooler who's accused of a crime he didn't commit and is forced to move to the big city for his probation. Now, you might be asking, what do you do in Persona 5? Well, there's plenty of stuff to do in Tokyo. You go to school, hang out with your friends, play darts, go fishing, make some coffee, go to the movies, fight a sexual predator, take down a mob boss, end the tyrannical rule of a power-hungry politician, find the Holy Grail and summon a demon lord to kill God. Just your normal, everyday life of a Japanese high schooler. I'm gonna be real with you. This game is literally the dumpster child of Fire Emblem and a bad night of Kenmi. So how's the gameplay, you might be asking? Well, just like the past Persona games, you have a double life. One is a slice of lifestyle dating sim where you live out a normal high school life. And the other is a turn-based JRPG where you play as the Phantom Thieves and deal with systematic reform of society. The true enemy is society itself. And just like every other fucking JRPG, you start off fighting little tiny mobs, little slimes, little little phantom, little easy shadows, and you end up fighting God. Whether it be the God of Death or Safer Sephiroth, the end is always the same. Now as for the battle system, it falls in line with the other games in the series. However, P5 does a couple things differently. First off, it introduces some new elements, that being new, Sigh, and gun. You literally pull out a Glock on Shadows. But don't worry, it's just an airsoft gun that looks really, really real. Thanks, Japanese gun control laws. Now, in addition to the elemental changes, there are showtimes. Showtime attacks are basically just team-up attacks from the earlier games, beefed up with newer animations and a nice, glossy finish. What's really good is you only need one character from each showtime in your party to activate it. Some of my favorites include Makoto's, Never in my life would I have imagined that I wanted to become a can of grape soda. God, I wish that were me. And Akechi's. Baton Pass is another great addition to the game. Dealing weak damage to an enemy allows you to pass the baton to a friend for increased damage and other bonuses based on how many times you do it. Side note, if you're gonna go for true ending, you really need to get good at this. Lastly, the battle music feels a lot more alive in this game as compared to other ones. And as an added bonus, if you have the Royale Edition, you get all the DLC from the base game, which includes different outfits that change the music. My personal faves are the Dance One and the Geku Khan outfits. Why? Simple. Now on the topic of music, just like every Persona game before it, the music slaps. Any song with Lin in it is so good it'll slap your dick off and make you look like Adam from Near. And I kid you not, every song is a banger. It's showtime.
Now, where this game really shines is the writing. Persona games are known for their very good writing, world building, and a vast cast of characters. With a very few exceptions, all the characters in this game are really well written and well rounded characters. Not only do you have your main crew, the Phantom Thieves, you also have a bunch of other confidants that are equally well written and have really good subplots and stories. You have your typical side character, which in this case is Morgana. Your otherworldly partner returns, this time in the form of a cat called Morgana, who is, in my opinion, worse than Teddy. Your typical dude bro best friend, Ryuji. For real? Yes, goddammit, it's for real! Incredibly well written, very good story, and just overall great character. He's basically the new version of Kanji, and the voice actor, Max Middleman, did an amazing job. You also have Yosuke, I mean, uh, Yusuke Kitagawa, your basic punished artist type. Very cool character. His design in the metaverse is also really cool, and I like his backstory a lot. You also have Goro Akechi. Best boy, he did nothing wrong. Very good character. Also, the VA for him, Robbie Damon, kills it as well. Yet again, Atlas comes in clutch with the Guardian archetype, this time with Sojiro Sakura, literally a goaded barista, actual Chad. Feels very reminiscent of Ryotaro Dojima. New addition with Royale is Dr. Maruki. Zaddy. I, I, think, I think I'll be okay if I, if I just go home. Absolutely! Whatever you need, just get better. Great character. His story is also amazing. The next time and, uh, you no spoilers, but he's very, very cool. To Igor is back from the past games, but... Trickster, welcome to my velvet. What the fuck is wrong with his voice? And now for the part you degenerates have been waiting for. The true waifu wars. Alright, it's time for a speed round, baby. Let's go. And Takamaki, basic Instagram model. If you like her, you have basic tastes. Haru Okumura, nice character, very sweet. Suffers from being added to the game way too late to develop any character. Because at the point that she's added, you've already, like, chosen another person by that time. Kasumi Yoshizawa. Wow, it's literally just Risei 2.0. Goaded character, but it sucks because you don't get any interactions with them until very late in the game. Caroline and Justine are pretty okay, but they don't replace Margaret or Elizabeth at all. Futaba Sakura. Goaded character. Her backstory is amazing and cool as hell. Her palace fucking slaps. The music! Just listen to this shit! amazing but there's one fatal flaw with her the fucking gamer speak the leak speak the epic winner speak i just kill just put a bullet in my head also if you romance futaba i have no respect for you you're allowed to protect that's it no romance only protect Anyone who romances Futaba, this is how I see you. Uh, so what's in the bag? Uh. It's called Brother Sister. That's awesome. And what is that about? Like a brother sister crime fighting duo? Uh. It's about a brother and a sister. That. Fuck. Hifumi Togo. I just... I, I... I didn't care about her at all. Just... Oh, you played chess. Cool. The best thing this character got was an OVA. That's... That's about it. And then... <laughs> Kawakami. Yes! Kawakami yes! Mom. Yes! Go with it. Oh, I'm your teacher. That's the best part. Yes! Yes! Yes, love! Top tier. 10 out of 10. There's one thing that fucks me off, though. There's one f this that that face that right there. Get that out of my sight. Who wouldn't want a teacher and a maid? It just that wins. Then you got Magoto. She's your typical like student council president, prim and proper, but in reality, she's a fucking badass. And Mr. Spike Spiegel says it best. 
love the kind of woman that can kick my ass. Now, before we talk about the next person, I want to introduce you all to the Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. You may have heard of this when you took health in high school. But basically, the bottom layers, you have your basic needs, such as food and water and security, like a house. Then you have your psychological needs, which is like to have friends and a family. And then you have your top tier, like self-fulfillment needs. Not as important, but still. But below all of that, the most core need is Tay Takemi. Let's go! Top tier, top one. Punk, doctor, sign me the fuck up. Thorough examinations. Goated! I'll just have to take my time examining you. Hmm? Yes! 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 In case you haven't noticed, this game can get pretty lewd. Drop it. I, I pray to God my family never sees this video. Sai Nijima. Man, I'm gonna rant about this. Like Criminal that, that you didn't have the chance to romance this character. Absolute 10 out of 10. Please, step on me. Please, God. Like, who wouldn't want a strong, like, independent, like, prosecutor? Please, lawyer, need. The shadow version of Sai? 10 out of 10. What's really so criminal is that in the base the game, they gave you no options, no nothing. Like but then they said, hey, you know what? No let's just give you an OVA, and then let's just give you a box of chocolates in Royale. Why? Why? I need answers. Please, give me the option. Bring it to PC so I can get mods. Please, God. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no clue how to end this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and rate it. Uh, three needs out of three. Go play this game. It's a lot of fun. It's like always on sale. And I think that wraps up Persona for me. I think I'm done with uh, Persona content. There's nothing else. Everything is done. You know. The dancing games are cool. Not worth it to make a video. Oh, come on! God damn it! They did it again! They reeled me in like a fish! Here I come! Fuck it! Strikers video coming soon. Have a good one. Destruction. Oh, yeah.